Hallelujah, church. Amen. We are excited to be here today. Amen. Uh, with this wonder-working cross. Amen. Of the power, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And what the Lord is doing here today. And you know, I'm just so excited to be in the house today. Amen. Because God is doing marvelous things. Amen. I just want you to share that. Amen. As you are on there. Amen. We are also, uh, we'll be going into live as well here in a little bit. But you know, I always like to start out with my podcasters and just really giving them a salute, salute, salute and a blessing. And just knowing, you know what, that God is truly blessing you in leaps and bounds. And you know, God has so much in store for your life. Those great plans to to prosper you, Amen. Uh, those plans to to just even accelerate you, Amen. Uh, and what God has for you here today, Amen. Um, there's so much that God is working and that God is doing, and you know what God will continually to do upon our lives, you know, and that's the part that is so exciting, amen, because we can just glorify His name, amen, in everything, um, what we are doing, and as well, church, in what He will have us to do. You know what, church, God is never late, amen. And God is always on time. Come on now. And, you know, he says that he never see the righteous forsaken and nor their children uh, begging for bread. Amen. Um, and that's the way it is, church. Uh, sometimes we may not see the, the whole process. As we are having to to go through our walk, to go through our talk, to be able, to be able to be prosperous in where He called us to do, as well as well as to go, Amen. And uh, and really just to be involved in. Um, The things that we go through, you know, from the beginning, yes, it may be painful. Um, but you know what? That's where you have to trust God and trust in what the Lord is doing in our lives. Amen. And so, church, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Amen. And I will be saying a special prayer for you as always and before we're coming in and doing these videos amen um so that we can paste them on our on our youtube channel amen and getting this word of god out and you're being a part of that too here with me church amen and so let's just go ahead and go right on in and just be prosperous in everything and what the Lord would have us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, because of the awesome God that you are. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting upon our lives, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for coming upon our lives here today, Father. We thank you, Lord, Father God, that you have complete control, spirit, soul, body, and mind. Father God, that there's no distance in prayer, Father God. Lord, that you will touch and minister to the hearts of your people from the very crown of their head to the very soles of your feet, Father God, to the very soles of their feet, Father God, and wherever that you will lead them and wherever that you will guide them, Father God, that we will be filled with you, Father, that there will be nothing missing, Lord, there will be nothing wrong, Father God, that there will be an increase 
of your life within our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So, hi, church. Thank you for coming on in. Amen. We are doing our podcasting as well as our videoing here today because I want to be able to connect with you and putting this word of God on our YouTube channel. Amen. So if you have not yet done so, please go subscribe. Amen. And as we are building, you know, our temple, we're building our time. Amen. Of being in God's presence and in the word of God. We will see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit to work upon our lives. Amen. And so I'm going to go ahead and get into the word of God. We started out in prayer. And so we're going to go ahead and get into the word of God and what the Lord has for you here today. So I just want to salute. Amen. And say hi to everybody that's uh, wherever that you may be coming in, we're going into different groups. Amen. So I just want to say hi. My name is Tina Vieska. Thank you uh, for coming in on these videos and receiving this word of God. Amen. Uh, we are literally around the world. Amen. Through our groups. And I want to invite you to our group, Cruzando Fronteras, con una voz alerta. Amen. A group that you can join and that we can... Um, Begin to be uplifted. We are connected to Prayer Mountain Church. Amen. Which is a 24-hour posting in prayer. As well as under Tina Viesca. And all our other social medias. As you literally go into the website. You will be able to connect with us in all of our areas. As well as whatever the Lord puts into your heart. To be a blessing to this ministry. Our vision is big. Amen. And so because that vision is big. There's much acquired and much to be done. So I want to thank you in advance for your love and your support. Amen. And giving forth this word of God. Also through praise and through worship and through the gathering. Amen. So also too, if you're here in Fort Worth. Amen. Or even around the surrounding areas. You want to come in, connect with me. Go ahead and message me. And I'll be able to give you more information. Amen. About everything what God is doing. So let me share with you through this word of God. Amen. And this is a food thought today. Amen. The biggest sacrifices of our lives will be those times when we choose our own way and forfeit God's pleasing will for us. And so that's telling me, church, that you know what? We may be caught up in our own will. We may be caught up in our own own pleasing will and our own pleasing minds and our own pleasing thoughts and our own pleasing ways amen but we want to choose a way that is rightfully towards Christ and every aspect within our lives amen so I don't know about you church but you know what I want to have the eyes of God I want to have the ears of God. I want to have, have the hands of God. I want to have the feet of God. Church, I want to be nurtured by Christ in the life of Christ from the very crown of my head to the very soles of our feet. You know what? God didn't say that, you know what, we're just, I'm just going to meet you halfway in this. You see what I'm saying? No, when he gave his all, he gave his all. He gave his son and he gave his very best so that we can have our best and everywhere and aspect within our lives. Amen. And so even as we hear God's word, as we hear God communicating to us, to our minds, to our hearts, to our ears, you know what? God is speaking. God is speaking. And so my word for you today is, are we listening? Amen. Are we hearing? Can we hear what God is saying? Can we listen to what God is saying? And also, can we act upon the word? You know, because as Christians, we have the faith. Amen. And we know it. Are you listening to me? We know it. But it's a difference when we know what we know, but we don't act upon it. Amen. And I believe that many of, of, of y'all that are tuning in with me here today, you're saying, you know what? I believe it. I trust in God. But you know what? I haven't 
act upon it. You know what? Maybe you might need a job, an increase in your life, a different area or spectrum where you're saying, you know what? I need to touch God. I need to minister to God today because when we minister to God, it is given our praise. It is given our worship. You know what? We then in return will receive that of God. What we give, we shall receive as well. And in turn, you know what? There's no distance distance in prayer. There's no distance in our communication. Amen. It is the sin that what separates us from his presence. Amen. God's love is there. God's love premises within our lives. He will reach us and touch us. You know, he will reach the prostitute. Come on now. He will reach the drug addict. He will reach the alcoholic. And you know what? I don't know your problems. I don't know your problems. I don't know your mistakes. I don't know your mishaps. I don't know your failures. But God does. Amen. God does. And even in the midst Of all of those cares, God cares for you and He still loves you. He has a plan and He has a purpose there in your life. And so I'm asking you, can we trust God with our lives? Amen. As He leads us, as He guides us, you say, you know what? I need guidance. You know what? I need to be led. You know what? I need to be protected. We can call on the angels. We can call on the angels and just truly receive that, what God has for you, what God has for me, what God has in all of our lives. Amen. And so a lot of it has to do with it is in our thinking. The enemy is always going to come down and really try to bring a, a, a brainstorm, will you? where everything seems a little fuzzy, where everything seems like there's some mistakes, maybe there's some confusion. No, in Jesus' mighty name, because you have the mind of Christ. Christ, the hope of glory, lives and dwells inside of each and every one of us. That is an encouraging word here today. Now, I'm going to share with you something. Church, we have to be willing to be that living sacrifice for God. You know, I opened up, I opened up, amen, as we begin to open up in this channel, we begin to open up in these airwaves, and soon, church, we will be on television, amen, and so I already feel like I'm on television because I'm on video, are you listening to me, church, but television will reach a spectrum of an audience, amen, of a great measure of Uh, Beyond measure, even what we can ever even fathom. But I'm sharing with you the biggest sacrifice sacrifice of our lives will be those times when, you know what, when we don't choose our own way. We have to choose the way for Christ. Not our way, Lord, but may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know why, church? Because it's God that does the miracles it's God that will bring healing upon your body it's God that will increase your life your spirit your soul your body and your mind amen that he will increase you into all spectrums and areas within your life you could say you know what well I have God in my kitchen but I don't have God in my living room come on now I'm just trying to share with you. You know what? I have God in my home, but I don't have God in my job. You know, I have God in my home, but not in my marketplace. Or you know what? I have God, come on now, on the outside, but I don't have God in the inside. Amen. To have inside-minded, heart-minded of everything of what God is working and what God is doing. Now, let me take you to the words of Scripture. There's many Scripture here. That I want to bring you here today. Amen. But one of the scriptures that remind me ever so often. Even in my life church. I remember when God gave me this. It's a well known verse. Amen. Word of scripture. And you're going to say well I know it. And you know what the thing is once again. We may know it. But do we apply it. Amen. Because this is putting the feet to action. Not just knowing in here. Not just knowing in here. 
You know, it's the, the, the knower. They call it the knower. It's not only believing. Come on now, church. I'm fixing to say a word for some people. That it's not only believing because even the demons believe, the word of God says, and tremble. Amen. You can read that there out of the book of James. It talks about even the members of our tongue on how it just can be a little wildfire. Amen. And so... There in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, 8 and 9, the word reads, and I'm just going to read portions of it so we can understand the word. Your ways are not my ways, Lord God. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are your ways higher than mine. And so I'm going to stop right there to elaborate in this word of God, expound, will you, to that word of God. That, you know what, a lot of our ways will not be the ways of God. A lot of our thinking will not be the ways of God's thinking. That's where we have to release our thinking and give it unto the Lord. Release, amen, our mind to put on the mind of Christ. You know, in order for me to have gotten dressed here today and to be with you, church, you know what? I had to take off something to put on something. Amen. And so, or else I'm going to be clothed upon clothing every day. And then before you know it, my clothes are going to look like a mountain of clothes on me with different hats, different glasses, you know, different things uh, because I have not taken off something in order to put that, put on something. And so that's the way this works, church, that we have to put off our own mind, our own thinking, our own ways. Amen. We cannot, amen, forfeit God's planning for our lives. God has a plan and he has the destiny, as I shared with you before. Amen. We got to put on what pleases God. Amen. And what God has for each and every one of us. And so in order to put on what pleases God, we have to first put on the mind of Christ. Amen. And so that is the way that we will not fall in our own way, but we will fall in into the ways of the Lord Jesus Christ. You say, you know what? Sister Tina, Evangelist Tina, or Mrs. Tina, you know, there's something that I'm not doing. There's there's something that I'm not making my way. And you're saying, you know what? I want to be prosperous. I want to be prosperous in what I do. I want to be prosperous in where I go. You know? But you're not seeing it. You're not acknowledging it. You know why? Because we need to put God first. Amen? As we put God first, church, God says then, you know what? All these other things shall be added unto you. So, as we trust God, number one, we have to trust God. We have to believe God. We have to know that He is God. Amen? And that He has great promises for our lives. He has destiny because you are destiny's child. Amen? I did a teaching on that. And, man, I'm just, uh, it just fathoms me of all of God's wonders And his wonderful glory and his mighty works in which he just flows into our house. Amen. And so that was out of the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verses from 8 to 9. Amen. Then it says, I may not always understand your ways, Lord, but they are always prosperous. Now I'm going to turn there in my Bible. So if you're driving... Just trust me. Maybe you can jot it down um, somewhere. Amen. Because we are on speaker. Amen. And we're on our podcasting program as well as we're going live. So if you're on my uh, broadcasting here today, if you have accessible to your Bible or to any part of a, a paper and pencil, maybe you may be busy. But as you're connecting with me, amen, we're going to give Jesus Christ honor and glory and praise so i'm just going to go ahead and read this straight out of the word and this is out of the book of psalms there in chapter 10 
I'll be reading verse number 5. Amen. And so a complaint about evil people. We don't want to be complainers. Amen. We want to be the doers. Come on now. Are you listening to me, church? Because that was a word for somebody. <laughs> it's not time to uh, uh, to be uh, complaintful. Amen. But it's time to make it plain. Amen. In other words, plan it out. We're going to make it plain. This is plan out. I'm not going to complain about it. Amen. I'm not going to complain about my life. I'm not going to complain about my situation. I'm not going to complain about the situation that I'm in. No. I have what? The plan. Amen. The plan is complete. The plan is um, uh, compliant. Amen. Of everything that God's working out this process in my life. Check this out. Verse number five. The word reads. They always succeed. They are far from keeping your laws. They make fun of their enemies. Amen. They say even to themselves, nothing bad will ever happen to me. And God is saying, those that complain, those who are in evil, what? It says their mouth will be full of curses, lies, threats. They use their tongues for sin and evil amen and so we are choosing not the way of complaint amen we are not choosing the way of being evil you know you can always find yourself well you know what about this what about that and just always complaining always being cruel amen um i'm here to tell you the lord is king forever and ever amen he says destroy from your land those nations that do not worship you lord you have heard from the poor uh the poor people want do what they've asked listen to them protect the orphans put an end to suffering so that they no longer will be afraid of evil people you know there are evil people that want to attack you, that want to come against you, that want to curse you. No, we are not a people who complain, but we are people that carry out the promise. Complaint and promise. Amen. Complaint or are you going to carry the word of the promise? Amen. We're not compromising. Are you listening to me, church? It's not that halfway full amen no we're full all the way to the overflow are we listening and that's the way our minds have to be thinking as well the overflow the overflow not in the lack because where you lack you may be slacking no god is saying we put our faith to work amen i remember when god gave me that word it was a rhema word he says you know what when you are working your faith is working for you so i'm here to let you know your faith is working for you and as your faith is working for you we put action to what god has for you amen so i may not understand your ways lord but they are always prosperous your ways are always righteous. Psalms 145, verse 17. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. That's in the book of Psalms. They're in chapter 77, verse number 13. Your ways, your ways, your ways, they are loving and they are faithful. Amen. Psalms 25, 10. Your ways are loving and are faithful i want to share with you something there church that not only is god faithful amen and i'm turning to the word of god there in 25 verse 10 that all the lord's ways are loving and true for those who follow 
the demands of his agreement. So this is where we come in agreement into the spirit. We come in agreement of being those living sacrifices with our lives. We choose the way of the Lord and not of our own wills. We choose the way that is pleasing unto God and not that of ourselves. Amen. And so we're choosing the way of the promise. Amen. Not the way of complaint, of being bitter. Come on now. Hello. Uh, not any way of, of uh, thanking lack or slack. No, we consider all our ways given unto the Lord. All the Lord's ways, they are loving, they are true for those who follow the demands of the agreement. In other words, we follow the ways of the commandment. One of the things that it says, uh, as I written down here, it says, the ways are loving and faithful. I want to tell you, the ways of God, they are loving. Come on, church. And they are fruitful. Do we have fruit in our lives? Are you listening? Do we have fruit? Then we have to check. To see if all our ways are committed to Christ in our lives. Amen. As a matter of fact, this morning I had an encounter to pray with somebody today. You know what? I need God's blessing. I need God's blessing. Well, the thing is, are we committed to Christ? Are we committing all of our areas unto Christ? Are we seeking the Lord first? Amen. The word says... I have considered my ways, Lord. Psalms 119, verse 59. I choose yours instead. Keep me from deceitful ways. There in Psalms 119, verse 29. It says, Lord God, help me to walk in your ways. That's Psalms 119, verse 3. Those who know Psalms 119 is the longest psalms of the bible amen lord if being obedient to you causes me to suffer i know i should commit myself to my faithful creator and continue to do these good works that is the book of first peter 4 19 so you know what church there's much to be accomplished here today amen and god wants to accomplish holiness in our lives god wants to accomplish these greater works let me just take these off amen uh these greater works in our lives that we can move in his power that we can move in these leaps and bounds that we can move under um just the power of his anointing, amen. The power of the wonder working power of what he has for us. You know, we can say that we trust God, but can he trust us? Amen. Can God trust us with what he is endowed and what he's given unto us? You know, just as the word was saying here, even if it caused me to suffer, are you listening to me, church? Will we still follow God? Even if it calls me to break a sweat. Come on now. Can we still follow God? Amen. That's what I'm sharing with you here today. Amen. Have we given Him our all in all our areas? Let us pray today, church. I pray that this word has literally spoken to your heart whatever you may be going through. Amen. And I pray that God has excited you to see God things within your life. You know, you may have gone to, like if you were on, you know, um, a tidal wave, you may feel maybe you were even on that shock wave, you know, um, and you feel like there's an area right there just like a, something just something right there we're gonna pray today 
we're going to pray today that God will remove that. That God will give us a sight beyond measure, an endowment of the Holy Spirit. Ooh, or Rabba Kasaya. An endowment of the Holy Spirit that only He can work it as He can. That He will give us full view and vision for our lives to do every good work. Amen. Creating leaps and bounds for our lives. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the band, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your people. We thank you, Lord, for the increase. We thank you, Lord, for the followers. We thank you, Lord, for the shares. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for those that are contacting us through this ministry, Cruzando Fronteras con una voz de alerta. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for the word of God, the mandate that you have placed upon my life to touch and to minister unto the hearts of people. Now I know, Lord, this word of God will go viral. This word of God will touch the nations literally all around the world. Father, I'm excited for all in what you've done. Father God, move me to the side. But move through me, Holy Spirit, to touch and to minister and to those who need that special touch here today. Amen. I know that you just felt like you were in a whirlwind here through um, the, the ministry. Amen. And through the videoing. But I'm telling you, God has something for you. Something remarkable. Amen. As you said that prayer in agreement today, I want you to message me. I want to meet and greet you, amen, personally, through Messenger. Maybe you have WhatsApp. And, you know, let this word go viral to be a blessing to the lives of others and connecting with us here today. Don't forget to visit us on the website, sharing a lot of our social media platforms, amen. We're upgrading in a lot of areas. We've done such a great work in such this past year. There's much to be placed there. Amen. And we are um, just revising everything and doing a lot of updates. And so praise be to glory to God. I'm so excited. Amen. Of all the work that God is doing in connecting you and my life as well as me and your life. Amen. If you say, Sister Tina, you know what? I have not connected first and foremost with Christ. I want to pray for you and I want to believe with you. That God is wonder working power. Amen. And so those who are with me, amen. We are podcasting even here live today. We just be in a prayer and agreement with me, amen. As we pray for these people of God, amen, that they are coming in, that they have found a family in which we can connect, that we can be together in in boldness of Christ, carrying this word of God, amen. And just allowing the Holy Spirit to touch you. So say, Father God, I thank you, Lord, here today. And I want you to confess this prayer with me. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you, Lord, for the work of this word that has touched my life. Father, I ask you to come into my heart today. I want to be changed. I want to be renewed. Father God, I want to be restored. And I want to invite you to come into my life change my life, change my ways, change my thoughts. Father God, let me put on the mind of Christ. Let me put on this new mind. Let me put on this garment of praise. Let me see that you alone are God alone, that you alone are God all by yourself. Father God, as I come to you, Lord, there will be nothing missing and nothing broken. Right now, I see the light coming in. Right now, I see the light coming in. There's a cross coming in over your life right now. God is placing you. You are there. You are there. You are there. You are there. Hallelujah. You know, it's just about crucifying. Crucifying the flesh. Crucifying the flesh. Crucifying our lives to pick up the cross of Christ here today. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, I know that there are many that may be going through a lot of sufferings right now, Father God. We pray for unity 
in Christ and in the Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, fresh fire. Fire, 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 fire. Thank you, Lord, for the fresh fire, in Jesus' name. So, churches, you have connected with me here today. I want you to come in. Amen. I want you to message me. I want to let you know that we have something great in store for you. Amen. And let's say, you know what? You said, you know what? God put into my heart that I want to give towards your ministry. Make it to the website. There is a donation button there that you're more than welcome to give at any donation amount. Maybe you want to come a partnership uh, to this ministry. Amen. You may do so. Amen. As well. Um, any amount will start you off at a $30 or more donation towards this ministry. I want to bless you with something, amen, as you're encouraging us to uh, visit and get into our mission fields and everything and what the Lord is doing even to those in Nigeria, my family in Africa. So God bless you, church. We love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you for connecting with us once again and share this word of God, amen. And allow this word to go viral into the thousands, the millions. Amen. Hey, and if you can, I want to see you at our YouTube. Become a subscriber today so we can begin to do live videoing there. Amen. So God bless you. We love you with the love of the Lord. And we shall see you soon. Until next time, church. Amen and amen. Oh, P.S., 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 I wanted to share with you. Once again, if you are in Fort Worth, I want to invite you to, quote-unquote, the gathering. Amen. Um, we are doing church live through Cruzando Fronteras, con una voz de alerta. Uh, we are going in live in our church. Amen. And so, our church home. And so, uh, the visitors are coming in. We are doing live videoing for church. That starts central time at 11.30, amen? And so maybe you're on different parts of your world. You've already gone to church. You can connect to our church on Sunday mornings at 11.30. So I want to invite you there as well. Come connected, praise, worship, powerful word of God, amen? And as we do so, God is connecting with us for someone else, amen, just to come in and to be a blessing to carry out this word. Tomorrow, 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 if you are here in the surrounding areas, I want to invite you to the Marine Park. Amen. We are going to gather with powerful prayer, with powerful praise. Amen. At the park. Amen. I want you to come comfortable. If you can bring your lawn chair or something, amen, where you can go ahead and sit. I will have some... Um, uh, chairs there, amen, but I don't know what type of turnout by honor and glory of God, you know, everybody that can connect with me to come in, and even those that are in support in our outreaches, you're more than welcome to come, our nursing home ministry, amen, with uh, Manu Anaya and his families, all the sisters that, that are connected with Romanos Ocho Uno, the church, amen, and so I don't know. There's a great expectancy. I will be bringing certain amount of chairs first come, first serve. Amen. And so that's the reason why I'm saying if you want to come out, break out a little bit with us. Amen. Go ahead and come out. It will start at 2.30 and we will end it up at 5.30. Amen. For those who have a closing time. Amen. And so I believe that's pretty much the information that I want to share with you right now. Also, to keep me in your prayers because we want to go uh, on television. Amen. And I'll be able to give you a little bit more information that once, you know, the equipment comes in. And we're just believing for great and mighty things. Amen. And building and so forth. And so there's a lot there, church. And I want you to be a part of it. So God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Uh, thank you, Manuel. Uh, thank you for all those that are uh, connecting with us. And um, thank you, my husband, Julian Viesca, my family, Israel, Rebecca, and Angel, and all those that are connecting with us, Amana Hilda, uh, Aida, Frank Lopez, you know, um, who's my father, uh, you know, and just 
all these people that God has placed within my life and to be a part of uh, Pastor Carlos, his wife, amen, uh, those that who are connected with him, Pastor James, uh, the Potter's House, whoo, 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 of Fort Worth, amen, to give a shout out to all those at the Potter's House that are also connected with me in Cruzando Fronteras. All those at the Prayer Mountain Church. Amen. I just want to give you high fives. All those on the Prayer Mountain Group. Hallelujah. And so, you know what? We're just going to have fun here today. So, God bless you. God bless you. Those that are in Dallas. Amen. To todo mi uh, gente en español. Yo los amo en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amen. And connecting with us, conectando con nosotros, llevando esta palabra de Dios. It looks like we may be doing some radio there in Spanish again. And so, you know what? We're connecting and we are being bold and being strong and taking in this land. So, thank you, church, for being a blessing, going into the website. And you know what? Sharing, 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 sharing. Sharing is caring. So, God bless you, church, because I want to see you soaring high. Until next time, church. Amen. Bye. Hallelujah. You know what, podcasters? It's just so wonderful to see all the wonderful things uh, that God is doing. And I want to thank you, podcasters, for your loyalty here today. Amen. You know, um, a lot of the videoing, they get the bite size. But I'm telling you, you get the full sandwich. Amen. And I want to thank y'all for podcasting uh, with me and carrying out this word of God. And um, just being an asset, we made a new connection with another podcaster. Um, I'm not sure how that works. You know, once I get to know her, maybe we can do something live together. And um, really just promoting the gospel. Amen. Just getting the gospel out there. Uh, that is our heart's desire as well as saving souls. Amen. And so I just wanted to uh, share with you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you for connecting with me and sharing it. Amen. Don't forget to share it with where you are at. Remembering that we can connect through the Spotify and as well through the iHeart Radio. But I would love for each and every one of you because I know that I have... Already more than a thousand listeners that are listening through Cruzando Fronteras, amen. And so as you connect with me, amen, we are able to connect. I want you to go to Tina Viesca YouTube, subscribe there because we need to go in live, amen. We need to go in live. We need to share um, a lot of the podcasting, amen. But also, too, I want to be able to, to channel and to reach many, many, many to the feet of Jesus. So I want to thank you, Father God. I pray right now, Father, for those that are podcasting with me. Lord, an endowment of the Holy Spirit. Lord, an increasing of power and might that only you can give, Lord Jesus. As the listener has opened up the ears, as the listener has opened up their eye gate, as the listener has given, Father, we thank you, Lord, that it shall be given, pressed down, shaken together, and run it over that men shall pour into the lives of these bosoms, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us a land of increase, and we thank you, Lord, that you are the God of more, more, more than enough. Father, that there are more for us than against us. That we walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Church, I'm excited. Let's be excited with another. And let us go out in a shout. Bless in the name of the Lord. Until next time, church. Tina Viesca cruzando fronteras con una voz de alerta. Come on now.